Hi, it's Mr. Baumgarten here with a short video for my students uh, explaining how to install Python and Visual Studio Code onto your machines. So go to python.org and into the Downloads section. Now I've gone to Windows and I've looked under the stable releases for download Windows, you want the 64 in executable installer. Uh, I think the default is still the 32-bit. Probably not going to cause you a problem, but uh, I recommend the 64-bit. Uh, and then, then in code.visualstudio.com, go to download for Windows. The stable build is fine because that is 64-bit by default. So you can just click that or just click the big blue button and that will get you what you need. You can see I've got both of these downloaded. And so now if I go into my downloads folder, let's quickly walk through the installs. Now the most important thing when you are installing Python is please turn on this tick box. Okay. Um, now you can just do, after you've done that tick box, you can do the install now and that's gonna stick it in this long convoluted folder, users, your, uh, then your username, app data, local programs, Python. So I suggest if you can go into the custom and click next and install for all users and that will just put it in programs folder. but you might get a permissions problem uh, if you're using one of the school laptops with that. So that might not work. You might have to leave that unticked if you get a permissions problem. Um, if you don't get a permissions problem, then that's fine. Use that and you are all good to go. So I'm able to install it into program files. So that's where I will put mine. Okay, so my setup was successful. I'm gonna close that and now install Visual Studio Code. Let's double click on that download. I accept the agreement and I click next. Again, it's going to try and install it into a nice convoluted folder for me. Uh, okay, yes, let's put it on the shortcut. All right, add open with code to your Windows file context menu, your directory context menu, and register it as an editor. I recommend all of those. Add it to your path as well. Is that necessary? Um, and I'm gonna create the desktop icon. So I'm doing, going for everything. This is what you'll get when you open it for the first time, something that looks like this. All right, so we're just gonna give Python a test. So let's create a new file. Uh, usually I just go file, new file. Uh, close that window screen and print let's do the old hello world now file save the file uh, make sure you've got a folder that you're doing all these things in so Python projects and I'm just going to call this test, but the most important thing when you're saving a Python file is that it finishes with .py. That's what tells the computer that it is a Python file. And you'll see now the color coding on my content here has changed. Now I can right click inside the text editor and come down to run Python file in terminal. And you'll see that if my Python and Visual Studio code are installed correctly, it has automatically found where Python was and run, and I get my output here, hello world. Uh, so this is where the output of your Python programs will run. So if I was to change this and turn this into something like, uh, let's put input, what is your name? And then in here, I can just say, make, turn this into an F string, put the little F in front of the quotes. Hello, name, inside the curly braces. Run this in the terminal. Okay, so what is your name? So I now click into this window and I can type Mr. Baumgarten, hit enter, and it now says hello, Mr. Baumgarten. So now I know my Python is working fine. Uh, one little thing I do like to do with my Visual Studio Code is go to File Preferences, uh, Color Theme, and go for the dark theme. You don't have to, that's entirely personal preference. All right, so Visual Studio Code and Python working together. This is Mr. Baumgarten signing out.